now the uh, next problem assignment problem connected to x voltage means voltage is given how much is the voltage 347.5 volt frequency frequency is also given 50 hertz ac source a balance three phase load draws a line current line current means vil automatically i told you the voltage is vl only the y ampere means 34 ampere the input power is recorded by using two wattmeter read reading where the reading are 2 is to 1 means w1 is to w2 ratio is 1 is to uh, sorry 2 is to 1 right this one is the given now see what they have asked the active power of the load is active power we need to calculate first you tell me the power formula is root 3 VL IL cos phi but we don't have uh, we have root 3 we have VL we have IL but we don't have cos phi so cos phi formula is cos of tan inverse root 3 W1 minus W2 divided by W1 plus W2 right so we have W1 and W2 ratio right so can we substitute the ratio over here and then we'll get cos phi we can substitute the cos phi over here then we'll get the active power so can we write it like this from the ratio if we substitute it w1 is how much 2 w2 minus w2 right divided by w1 is how much 2 w2 plus w2 so that would be how much w2 uh, divided by 3 w2 so this would be cancelled right so the final answer would be cos of tan inverse of root 3 into 1 by 3 now you can solve this by using calculator then you will get cos phi you can substitute cos phi then you will get active power now next one is they have given x and y the reactive power of the load is if you will be able to get the active power then you will be able to get the reactive power as well root 3 vl il sin phi right so from by the same method calculate cos phi from cos phi calculate sin phi and then you will get the reactive next the problem third a balanced delta connected load is supplied by a three phase means there is delta connection and the voltage they have mentioned as 408 volt right and f frequency f hertz f they didn't mention let us consider 50 okay drawing a line current of line current means il and this one is the vl as i told you if they didn't mention we have to consider the line voltage only il is how much they have mentioned 17.50 ampere at the power factor 0 0.8 lagging right so what you need to calculate the resistance of the load branches basically if they ask you the resistance then you need to calculate impedance that is zph right in delta connection voltage is same and current is different so we will have one formula that is vph is equal to iph multiplied by zph vph is same that is 408 volt iph is different what is the relationship of current in delta that is il is equal to root 3 of iph so iph is how much il by root 3 we can get zph right now they have said cos phi is 0 0.8 cos phi is 0 0.8 so we can get the phi angle from here that is cos inverse of 0 0.8 so if we'll put the value 408 il is 17.50 divided by root 3 multiplied by zph can we get the value and the magnitude for the zph from here and angle is phi we can get the angle from here yes or no see 
phi angle will get it from here cos inverse 0 0.8 36.8 and after solving it will get 40.38 they are asking r so convert it into the rectangular form rectangular form is r plus jxl so after comparing the equation you will get the resistance right and in the next part they are asking reactance reactance means xl only if they didn't change the value then that would be much easy every time they are changing the value and every time you need to repeat it r is 32.305 and similarly you can get xl as well right now see from this question only question number nine like from this problem three only it is associated if x is this one y is this one means voltage is 352.5 volt and current is 30 ampere the power consumed per phase they mentioned a per phase so we'll use the formula vl il cos phi okay so vl is given 352.5 il this one is il is given 30 ampere and cos phi you already calculated by using r by z or phi you already know that is 36.86 no uh, actually the value will change now huh. the value will change no they have given you directly the power factor that is 0 0.8 lagging so you do in this you don't need to change it further 0 0.8 okay now similarly they again change the value voltage and current now this time they are asking the reactive power so that would be vl il sin phi vl is how much 434 current is how much they have given the line current that is 23.5 and the sine phi if cos phi is 0 0.8 then you can calculate sine phi that would be 0 0.6 okay see in this they mentioned reactive power of the complete system so this would be root 3 mentioned root 3 but in the above case they said per phase that's why I didn't mention root 3 okay fine now the next part again the change 1449.5 current is given 39.25 pl and il frequency also they have mentioned 72 hertz inductance so we need to calculate impedance right now the formula vph is equal to iph into zph remember i told you we need to never use this formula vl is equal to il into zl right so vph is equal to iph into zph v in delta vl is vph so 449.5 iph is how much iph is il by zph v yeah this is delta connection d in the delta connection voltage is same right i now can you get zph hmm? again zph magnitude you will get it and angle is how much cos inverse of 0 point then again convert it into the rectangular form then you will get xl and after getting xl xl is equal to 2 pi fl will get l right because z is in the form of r plus j understood all right the load pattern shown supplied by a three phase dash volt r y b r y as a reference and this one they have given so z r is x angle 120 degree means this one impedance said y have taken as y angle minus 30 degree this one impedance and zb they didn't give it 
नेक्स्ट वन दे हैव मेंशन द वोल्टेज ओके सम अमाउंट ऑफ वोल्टेज लाइन वोल्टेज दे हैव मेंशन एंड दिस इज फॉर स्टार कनेक्शन सो केस ऑफ स्टार कनेक्शन करंट इज सेम बट वोल्टेज इज डिफरेंट राइट सो इफ वैल्यू ऑफ दिस वन जेड आर जेड वाई एंड वोल्टेज इज गिवन वीन कैलकुलेट द मैग्नेट of ir and if the angle is minus 180 degree angle okay current angle the minus 180 degree so we know the formula vph is equal to ih multiplied by zph right the star connection current is same so ih we need to calculate z how much they are particularly asking for ir so we'll take zr zr value is given that is x angle 120 degree vph is l by root voltage they have given it to you that is 328 point something divided by root 3 okay so can you get ih from here tell me see in the next part they are asking voltage they have given x is uh current they have given angle they have given the magnitude of current iy in the last case they are asking ir and in this case they are asking iy so can we do it by the same pattern 